think Spectre might actually be a troll. Like, an internet troll, just the way he is. Guys a shit. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, Extra Dark One here, and yes, 2018, new year, new fucking, new Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains, Vrains is back, I'm back, this is my back, fucking baby got back. We're here for another episode of the Vrain Train, the show, the weekly show, it is weekly, when it, when I can be asked doing it, where we talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains every week, every episode we talk about it, we go over it in a very loose-based, try to go non-spoiler, but quite a spoiler kind of way, and we just talk about it, and... This is quite a, a quite a hefty one because we have the the final the, the, the second part of uh, Ghost Girls duel with Spectre. So let's hop onto the brain train and talk about the episode. And you know what? I can't even be asked getting the titles anymore. The titles in the video. I'm not even going to say the title. It's it's turn 34. So the episode basically carried on where we left off. Uh, at the end of the last episode, uh, Ghost Girl drew a card and she was like, I've got it, I've got it. She had that whole epiphany where we're like, okay, she's going to win this. She, you know, they kind of like, oh, she's got a move, she's going to make it. And she makes the move. Again, I'm not going to talk in too much detail about the certain moves made because, to be honest, it, that, I can't review that. I can't talk about that. You guys can just go watch the episode. But she makes her big moves. And he's this, this Spectre guy, he, 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 he ain't mucking about. He ain't mucking about. She gets, she basically gets her moves off, and he's like, "Look, I know, I know why you're so messed up because you love that tree." Yeah, yeah. No, I really love that tree. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, you wanna fuck that tree, don't you? No. She basically is like, "Yeah, you've been lonely. You've looked for love, but equal love, un unrequ unrequited love can turn to hate. You're basically a freak, a freakazoid. You've got no friends. Your hair's a bit weird. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat you now. I'm gonna defeat you. But everything she throws at him, he just keeps pushing it back. He summons a new form of his tree, and he just keeps going off. Keeps summoning monsters. Keeps nicking her monsters. Everything that gets going. It's, it's actually a very good duel." It's actually a very compelling duel. It goes back and forth. Uh, you know, Blue Angel's like, right, I've got, I've got to think of this. I've got to do this. Uh, and she draws, she summons a new, we, we get a new Link monster from Ghost Girl. Uh, and she summons that. And it has an effect where, um, I think, she, it, either she returns it or she plays the card, returns, yeah. She returns, like, banished cards from her hand and she gets, like, it gets, she gets attacks, attack points. And it does that. She powers it up. She goes off. And she basically goes, and, and even that strategy doesn't work. None of these strategies are working for Ghost Girl. For Ghost Girl. I mean, I've been saying Ghost Girl this whole time. Blue Angel. These strategies aren't working for Blue Angel. And why is it with Japan and Blue at the moment? Because Blue Angel's all like, oh yeah, I'm Blue Angel. You need the blue love. Oh, Super Saiyan Blue. I'm Blue. I mean, there's a lot of blue. A lot of blue going. Is it the year of the blue? Is that what it is? We're going to go to a new anime of blue's clues all of a sudden. But yeah, she's like, yeah, you're going to take this blue love. And he's like, oh, he's proper trolling her the whole time. He's like, oh, yeah, no, you got me. You got me. Oh, wait, no, you ain't going to be, ah, bitch. Get better, get better, get better. Lol, 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 lol. You know, fucking show tits, show tits, show tits. He proper is trolling her. He is. He, I can, that's the only way I can think to describe Spectre. He is an absolute troll. He, he, he's going, oh, no, you've got me. You've got me. You've got me. Oh, sorry, no trap card. Sorry, I'm going to counter that. I'm just going to counter that. Oh, and... Um, Ghost Girl's going off, and she's still doing these effects. She has an effect. She summons a trap. She rarely plays a trap card that at the end of the turn is activated if, if it's, it deals a thousand points of damage if, for all the counters it goes, and it costs her a counter every time she uses it, and it basically lets her set a trap and activate it there on that turn. So she's doing that, knocking up these bloody tricks to reincarnations, dealing 16 points of, da of damage, and it looks like he's about to win, and he's like, he then cries, I mean, I was, I know I said like, Blue Angel was going to win, and she was going to cry Blue Tears, but then, there's a bit, it's a bit of a twist actually, because he's like, he cries Blue Tears, and he's like, no, the evil I must defeat, the evil I must defeat is you, the evil, the, the faker, the, 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 the phony, pretending to be Blue Angel, Taking her mantle, stealing the the name of Blue Angel. How dare you know? He was like, he was kind of like, he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat you. And he cries with tears because that was him basically saying, I've won. And he rips up the book, which for some reason upsets Blue Angel. I get that she likes the book, but not like that was her copy of the book, you know. And even if it was, it's a digital copy, you know. Surely you've got it back. You've got a backup. Um, but 
So she's all pissed off by that for some reason. But then he's like, oh no, you've beat me. You've beat me. You've opened the door to my heart. Oh wait, I opened, you opened the door to my heart and there was one card left. And sure enough, it's a trap card that he has that essentially wins him the duel. He basically recovers like 4,000, like, like he, he ends up with 8,800 life points because he summoned, he, you know, he just he just recovers just shit tons of life points. And uh, he's like, I don't even have to use the second effect of my card because you, you're going to lose at the end of the scenario. But I'm going to just because I can. Does, does that evil expression shit. Like, you know, I'm the, how do I go to this evil expression now? So he does that. Uh, and he basically beats Blue Angel, and in, in, in sure enough, anime trope form, her hair explodes out, and she face plants that floor. You ever, do you see that at the end of the episode? She just goes, poof! Surprisingly, they just put in a cracking sound effect, like on her neck, because she, like, face plants, but her, 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 her legs are in the air, so he's essentially just cracked down, snap on her head, that would cr that'd break her neck. I don't care if it's digital, that'd break your neck. That'd break your neck, she be dead. She was dead. She probably is dead. She's not dead. And yeah, a playmaker turns around. He's like, what the fuck's going on? And then the, the episode ends. And that was the episode. I like this episode. I did. It was a nice, it was a nice back and forth. I, 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 I thought, I thought I'd figured to do a lot. I thought Ghost Girl's probably going to win. But then I was like, or is he going to win? But then she started doing moves and you're like, oh no, maybe she will win. Because she kept making him draw cards. And I actually thought, for a minute, I actually thought the episode was going to end with him decking out. Like, I thought he was going to be like, ha ha ha, I'm going to draw now my new four cards, and he was going to, like, draw three, and then he couldn't draw the fourth card, and he was going to lose like that. That's honestly, at the, near the end of the episode, I, that's legit how I thought the episode was going to end. I thought, he's going to draw his final card, he's going to try and keep drawing cards because of this effect, and he's going to talk all shit about how, he, you know, it's not going to be enough, he's going to gain the life points back, but then he's going to try and draw the four cards, and he's not going to have He's only gonna have three cards. Then he's gonna lose the duel by by deck out. I for that, and that's what I mean. The duel kept me kind of second guessing myself on that. And then right at the end, right until the end, I thought he's gonna deck out. And then I was like, oh shit, no, Blue Angel actually lost. Okay, well, well okay, Blue Angel now lost. So it was good. It was a good episode. I enjoyed the duel and I enjoyed the interactions. And yeah, good duel. I asked for the next episode again. I haven't watched the previews, um, but um, I can. So I have no idea. They've not. I mean, it, either Playmaker's going to continue on to take on to find Revolver, or we're going to go to, to Go and see. And maybe, I think Go's probably going to be the next to Duel Spectre. I think. I don't want this to happen, but more than likely it's going to happen. We're going to. The next couple of duels might be Go Dueling Spectre, and then Spectre's going to beat Go. And then before Yusuke can take on Playmaker, before Yusuke can take on uh, Revolver, he's going to have to take on Spectre. Or, plot twist. Yusuke, you know, Spectre's going to beat Revolver. Gonna, Spectre's going to beat Go. Yusuke, Playmaker's going to beat Revolver, but then Spectre's actually going to be the villain. Like, he's going to, like, betray Re Revolver, or Revolver's actually going to open up and say, like, oh, this was my plan, it's actually a good plan, and and he's going to have a change of heart after losing a Playmaker. And then Spectre's going to be the final duel of this arc. And that's... Probably not. I think Revolver. I think Revolver. Spe Revolver uh, Playmaker is going to be the final duel of this arc. Um, I think Spectre. But Spectre just seems more of a villain to me. The way he's acting. I mean, I'm not saying Revolver's not been a villain. I'm just saying the way Spe Spectre's acting like a fucking nutcase. So I'm just watching, him going, that guy is way more villainous. Like I can, I kind of get Revolver. I I look at Revolver's point of view. And I'm like, I kind of get it. I get it. I, you know, he has a reason for doing this. This guy's just an evil shit. He's just a twat. He's just an evil. I want him to be the main villain because he's a troll. And I want him to represent trolls on the internet. And I want him to get his comeuppance by being, you know, shat on by an alligator or something. You know what I mean? Um, so, those are some theories that I had for the episode. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got time for today. Be sure to share this video with all your fellow Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns fans if you think they'll like this kind of review video. Uh, Patreon has been updated. So if you want to be a Patreon or an extra dark one Patreon, or as I like to call them, a Darktron. Yes, a Darktron. Then be sure to click the link. Check out all the different, um, all the different shit going down there. Uh, all my links in the description below. Discord, you know, links to other stuff. Just check them out. Check them out. And you'll see more of me, and we'll speak, and we'll chat, and if you want to support the show, support the channel, 
And now I have a Patreon that I'm now actually focusing more on, and I'm actually paying some more proper, legit attention to, so, I there you go. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.